Before participating in the following activity, there are some important things we want you to do. Please remember to practice physical distancing of at least six feet from anyone that is outside of your home. Wear comfortable and proper shoes. Make sure you have an open space around you with no objects or obstacles in the way. Use the proper equipment or alternative objects you can find in your home. And last, stay hydrated and have fun. Hi everyone, my name is Beata. My name is Emma. And today we're gonna to be taking you through an activity to improve your running form. Our objective and goal for today is for everyone participating to build their feelings of confidence and confidence while running. Aside from the skill itself, we also want to encourage everyone participating to challenge themselves, set goals for your future self, and to take something away from this activity you can tell a friend about. So we know that running is something that everybody wants to be a part of and something that everybody should be a part of. So no matter what your ability level is, we've added modifications to every activity as we go. We will be taking you through a typical warm-up you'd see any runner doing before their race or before their workout. But we've added a twist. We're going to be playing the game, The Floor is Lava. So to play the game, we're going to be showing you throughout each activity which part of the floor is safe and which part of the floor is lava. And we're going to be encouraging you as we go to think about maintaining quick feet to avoid burning yourself on the lava or stepping over the lava entirely. We're also going to be talking about imagining using your arms to escape the lava as well. If you want to use props to make the lava feel more real, you can do what we're doing and grab some towels and some socks and set them up in the formation that we showed you. Or you can just use your imagination. For example, you can lay out two towels on the floor, which represent the lava, and the space in between represents the safe zones. Throughout each activity, we'll be telling you when to hop over the lava into the next safe zone. If you have any concerns about tripping or slipping over towels or socks, using tape on the floor to indicate the lava is also a great option. Before performing any activity, make sure your environment is safe. Avoid slippery floors, low ceiling heights, and densely crowded areas. So your only two objectives are to stay in the safe zones and maintain quick contacts because we're in a volcano and if we're not moving around frequently, we're gonna get burned. You have two options when moving from safe zone to safe zone. You can either hop over the lava, or you can move around the lava. So to reiterate, here are the rules of the game. One, stay in the safe zones until we direct you to move. You may move to any safe zone of your choosing. Two, keep your movements quick. We don't want you to get burned, and lava's been known to erupt. So even if you're moving your arms, make sure to keep them quick. Three, you may move between safe zones in any way that works for you, by jumping, stepping, or moving around. So the first thing we're going to be doing is warming up. So to do that, I'm just going to be jogging on the spot for one minute starting now. As she's jogging, she's thinking about keeping really high feet, quick movements, quick contacts, moving to move between the safe zones. Alternatively, if you don't want to be thinking about your feet, you can just stand on the spot and rotate your arms to get warmed up. She's going through this jogging motion though. She's thinking about maintaining a really tight core. She's thinking about keeping a strong upper body, but still looking relaxed. And after 30 seconds, she's moving to the next safe zone, starting now. So she's hopped over the lava, she's safe again. The whole point of this exercise is to get your blood flowing, to get you engaged, to get you excited and ready to start moving and exercising. So 20 seconds to go on this warm up. She's thinking about maintaining that easy swing in the arms, keeping a nice strong core, relaxed upper body, relaxed shoulders, and she's thinking about that positive attitude that we talked about earlier. So she's got about five seconds left on the clock, just push for those last five seconds, you should be feeling nice and warm now, and we're done. So for this station, we're going to be doing high knees, which strengthen your hip flexors, the muscle that helps lift your leg while you're running. So I'm just going to be doing high knees for 30 seconds. Some modifications you can do instead is if you need to balance, you can go and hold the wall like Emma's showing now. You can also slow the exercise right down to a march as Emma's demonstrating. Or alternatively, if you want to just stay on the spot, you can think about warming up your arms nicely by swinging them back and forth just like so. So Emma's starting the exercise now and she's going for 30 seconds. So as she does this, she's thinking about really quick contact on the floor and maintaining a strong core swinging her arms back and forth nice and relaxed. She's going to be doing this for 15 seconds. So now, and she's switching over to the next safe zone. So whether you're moving around or you're jumping over, get to the next safe zone. Got about 10 seconds left on the clock. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Keep thinking about lifting those knees nice and high, swinging those arms nice and relaxed, and we're done. All right, so for this station, we're going to be doing butt kicks. 
Butt kick strengthen your hamstrings, which is the muscle that helps you run fast and will help you escape the lava. So Emma, again, is gonna be doing butt kicks for 30 seconds. Some modifications for you as you go, similar to what we did before. You can grab a wall for balance as you do the exercise, and you can slow it right down to a mark as Emma's doing here. Alternatively, if you just wanna stay on the spot, you can think about moving your arms in circles Keep warming those arms up and thinking about maintaining quick contact on the ground when you switch to a new safe zone. So I'm just going to start that exercise now. So as she's going, she's thinking about kicking those heels up really high to try and hit her bum. Uh, again, she's going to be doing this for 15 seconds and then we're going to switch to the next zone. So she's thinking about a really strong core and a really relaxed upper body. And she's switching now. So move to the next safe zone and keep going. You've got about 10 seconds left on the clock. You guys are doing really great. Just keep that energy up. Keep that positive attitude. We're almost there. Keep those heels contacted with your butt and we're done. All right, so for this station, we're gonna be doing stationary lunges. These stationary lunges target your quadriceps, which are the muscles at the front of your legs that are gonna help you, like the butt kicks, run faster and escape that lava. You can either do five to 10 lunges, depending on how strong you're feeling today. Today, Emma's gonna to do five. Um, some modifications for you guys before we get started is you can hold the wall if you want that extra added balance and perform the lunge like that. Or alternatively, you can do step ups. Another modification is just working on warming up that spine and keeping good mobility in your upper body. So to do that, you can just rotate back and forth like this. Um, before we get started with the lunges, we're going to talk a little bit about form. So I'm just going to demonstrate a proper lunge for you. She's going to go down on her left leg and she's thinking about maintaining really good alignment between her knee and her big toe. What's critical to this exercise is taking it nice and slow and maintaining that proper form all the way down. You want to make it very controlled the whole time you're doing it. You also want to think about keeping that upright upper body and that strong back while you go. So if you're ready, we'll get started. So I'm just going to do five lunges on one side starting now. So we've got one, two, you've got the Emma, three, four, and one more, five. Great, good job guys. So now we're gonna to switch to the other leg going in the other direction. So we've got one, stepping over the lava, two, three, looking strong, four, and one more to go, and five, and we're done. Good job guys. For this last station, we're gonna be doing explosive single leg hops. These single leg hops are gonna help you work on your triple extension, and that is going to help you with your running speed, similar to the previous two exercises. So I'm just going to be doing five single leg hops today. You can either do five to ten, depending on how strong you're feeling. Um, some modifications for you before we get started is you can hold the wall and just think about really driving that knee up really fast and explosively. Or alternatively, you can do a sit to stand. Another modification for you is taking your arms and driving them up really high and thinking about that explosive power as you go. So before we get going, we're going to talk a little bit about form. So Emma's thinking about maintaining that knee alignment over her big toe, and she's thinking about keeping a strong upper body as she goes. What's really critical to this exercise is maintaining control the whole time. Um, and yeah, so we're going to get started. So she's going to do five on each leg. So here we go, starting with one, two, nice alignment there, three, four, and last one, five. Awesome, awesome job guys. So now we're switching to the next leg and we're moving around to the, our next safe zone. And she's doing it on the other leg and she's going one, two, nice soft landing, three, four, and last one, five. So good job guys. Good job everyone. We've gone through the skills portion of this workout. We avoided the lava and we made it to safety. We hope that you're confident now with your ability to run with good form. And so now we're gonna take you through a cool down. So for this, you're gonna stand with your legs hip width apart, and we're gonna think about taking a deep breath in, and as we're doing that, we're lifting our hands all the way up over our head, nice big inhale, and then on the exhale, we're thinking about bringing your arms all the way down, letting all that air out, all that tension go, and we're gonna do that five times, so number two, all the way up, big deep breath, big exhale, and we got our third one, all the way up, exhale all the way out, think about releasing that tension, number four, Really stay nice and calm, bring the heart rate down, and number five, 
And there we go. Thanks for spending some time with us today, guys. You all did great learning how to run. We hope you have a great rest of your day, and we highly encourage you guys to revisit these videos once or twice a week to solidify your skills. Thank you.